Dee, 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 dee. I hate this part. Okay, let's hope and pray that this time, again, we have like a nice live thing. My son is making a lot of noise in the back. Can you not make so much noise in the back, son? Thank you. Oh, that's how you push it down. Could everyone see me? I hope everyone can see me and stuff. Like that. I'm waiting for people to come on. Because I'm very, very excited right now. <laughs> That's all I got. Greetings, everyone. I am very, very excited and feeling myself right now. And I always forget to turn the Do Not Disturb on. I have to turn the Do Not Disturb on. Hold on. There we go. Got it. Right, so now, I'm feeling very, very excited right now. I'm very, very happy. Because... One of the things that I've always tried to do since I started my graduate work, especially, and started MBA Muslims, is really promote that uh, people be each other's cheerleaders, especially Muslim artists, Muslim creatives, artists, authors, and stuff like that. i got to fix my Kimar. It's one of those Kimar days. It's hot outside and everything like that. I'm trying to stay in under the air conditioner and stuff, so my Kimar is not cooperating at all, and everyone knows days like that. So, every Muslim woman that covers those days like that. So, um, one of the things I always try to do is I try to encourage everyone to be each other's cheerleaders as much as we possibly can. I mean, we're all venturing into this, this, these spaces together, these artistic spaces together, especially as authors, especially as Muslim authors, where um, our voices are so easily overshadowed, erased, and suppressed. And so I was trying to encourage people to be each other's cheerleaders. And this was before I even started writing, when I was just kind of like um, really interested in Muslim authorship and authorship in general. So I always try to do that. So now that I've ventured off, okay, into the writing, into the authorship realm, okay, I'm extending my writing now to include short stories, novellas, and novels. And it's really, really exciting. And everything and so one of the things that I'm doing is I'm just really kind of like asking Muslim authors especially the ones that I uh, that re that write within my genre but not exclusively so if they're willing to give me a signed copy of their book and other authors as well romance authors because there are a lot of romance authors out there whose work I really really like and I think readers would really really like and I would really like to expose as many readers as possible to their work so I'm like kind of like asking hey why don't you give me a copy so I'm giving the giveaway for certain things so I'm very excited because today my first one came in the mail ah, ah. I was feeling a little deflated and busy running around being a mom and everything like that and thinking about all the things that I had to do and then I saw this in my mailbox and it is from one of my favorite favorite authors okay i wish he wrote more i know i understand why he doesn't but i just really do wish he wrote more now she jackson and i actually did a radio show a radio spot about nasheed on um radio islam just last week <laughs> interestingly enough about his first book her justice uh which is a crime romance okay and i introduced the um Tariq alameen to her justice because I figured he would really really like it and he actually did and so that's one of the things that I really like about my work is that I get to introduce people to all of these fabulous authors and kind of think oh you may like this author I think you would like this author I think you would like get into this uh what this author wrote this book and everything like that so I was really excited that he got into it despite the, it was it's a romance but he got into it he liked it he liked the character and everything like that because I love that book. I love Her Justice, and I'm waiting for Her Justice too. I hear that it's in the works. So I'm very excited I have an opportunity to give readers, my readers, a signed copy of one of my favorite books. I love this book. I have this book. Both I have the printed and I have it on Kindle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can constantly refer back to it. And so now readers can have a copy, a signed copy. Here's Nasheed's fabulous signature <laughs> right here of this book. And it's a very, very enjoyable book. It's a, it's about a Muslim man 
Okay, Justice Lowe, who gets himself in quite a few dilemmas <laughs> because basically he's having a challenge handling women. <laughs> so I really, really love that book. And I'm looking forward to more. And I'm going to, uh, and, 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 and my pile of um, getting bigger and bigger because I did reach out to other authors and they were very, very supportive. And so I'm looking in the mailbox constantly for these books so that I can put them to the side and get ready to start giving them away and giveaways. I think that they're really, really good books and I think readers will enjoy them. And also, I think that people who who are willing to step out of their comfort zone when it comes to reading and kind of read out in, in another genre may find these books very, very interesting. So I'm very, very excited. Jazakallah Nasheed, okay, for uh, sending this book so quickly. I can't believe how fast it came in the mail and everyone be on the lookout because this is going to be part of a giveaway you'll have a chance to win this signed copy of a really really great muslim romance by nashi jackson okay don't forget to uh visit my author's blog and sign up for my short story subscriptions okay so i'm